Hi guys, welcome to the 2013 SHOT Show. I'm Chandler Garrett with 511 Tactical. We're here in our 511 Tactical store and I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman that you're going to want to hear about in a minute. But I know Ryan is an active duty medic and so I really want him to see this uh, gentleman I'm about to introduce. Uh, I have with us Dave Roden who runs our nylon category. And Dave, you're going to take us through a really, really cool product that we have coming out soon. Absolutely. Uh, right here I'm going to talk to you about our new TACTAC plate carrier for 511 Tactical coming out. Uh, this April, so it's a new spring item for us. Uh, I have a prototype here I'm going to walk you through real quick. Uh, one of the things we did was we worked with a lot of operators, East Coast and West Coast guys, about what they wanted in a plate carrier. So one of the things that came up was, well, first, give me some comfort. So we went with a really nice, thick staircase mesh padding uh, with perforations in here so it gets airflow to pass through, um, but it's not going to absorb the water because it's a, a closed cell foam. The other thing guys wanted was you know, range of motion and articulation. So we have articulation here in the, in the shoulders. And if you notice, we tapered in the top of the top to, for a full range of motion for the guys to be able to move their arms around. That shoulder strap system comes all the way around the back. And something that's been very successful for us in our backpacks has been our yoke system. That really helps disperse the weight and spread that load out so guys can last a lot longer when they're carrying this under load. On the front side, the next thing we looked at was the quick release system. You know, a lot of times a quick release system was very cumbersome to use or not that quick. So first, on the front side, you can grab this, yank it out, and that releases your shoulder straps and your cum buttons all at once. If you don't want to have this on the outside, I can actually take this out, pull it out, flip it over, and relace it. And this can Velcro to the inside so it's out of the way. Or if you're a medic getting ready to treat somebody, I can come up and just release one side or the other and only pull out that one side so it's a, it's a half release. The other thing that was really important when we looked at quick release systems was how people ran their cables. Our cables come up and over and they come in a straight line all the way down. And it's also on the outside of the plate carrier. When we looked at a lot of the competition, we found that there were often multiple uh, 90 degree turns. And if you have more than three 90 degree turns, it became a self-cinching loop, which meant it might release because of the fabric when a person was standing upright, but that person lands it on their back or is w with their weight on that, on that cable system, almost impossible to release. So for us, those cables stay in a straight line all the way down to the bottom, then tuck in right here. We also do these uh, keepers on the bottom. An uh, area that tends to wear out a lot on plate carriers is that, that, that bottom of that kangaroo pouch, and that uh, prevents this from lifting up. On the front side, we also have a quick reference field guide pocket. So if I need to throw something in here or map, document pocket, that just seals up right, right in the top. On the front side, we have laser cut web platforms, so again, I can uh, put on some identification I need to or molly on additional pouches uh, to configure this to make it mission specific. Right below that we have traditional web uh, platform again for putting on our mags. Um, one of the things that was important to us was giving guys as much ammo to stay in the fight as possible. Most plate carriers were only wide enough for three mags. We took ours out uh, wide enough for four mags because guys tend to run four or eight not three or six. And then that's a huge differentiator for us. The other thing we did was made sure that when this is lifted up all the way, even with your 5.56 mags in your pouches, there's enough room to lift this up all the way without unloading to be able to get to your cover button. That was important to us. We went with a skeletonized cover button on the side with elastic, so that way this flexes and stretches with the body, giving you a comfort fit. And that was something that was important to our end user. You can still uh, molly on pouches either horizontally or vertically. So if they want to attach side pouches there, they have that option. Going to the back side, Again, the laser cut web platform so they can attach pouches to it and then traditional web platform down below. We went with 500D nylon on this instead of 1050 because one of the things was, hey, how lightweight and breathable can we make it? We took that same padding we used for the shoulder straps, we put it on the body side. So that way this helps stand it off the body. You got four zones of padding here, which allows airflow to pass through vertically and horizontally. The last thing we did to really differentiate ourselves from the competition is how we did our drag strap. If you think about when guys have to go down and help somebody else out, well, first of all, look at where I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm looking down. I'm completely lost my situational awareness because I, I can't see what's going on around me. Second, I'm in a very weak position for my back. And then third, and then probably the, the most serious, if I come down here to grab a drag, a, a grab drag, I could be potentially pushing forward that person's helmet, cutting off their airway. So to get around those issues, we feel a drag, drag drab that comes out, and now I can drag off here, make it easier for the person. Reset here, very simple. Just drop this right back in, and you're good to go again. And there's the reset. Now, for somebody who uh, has a plate carrier, uh, we had a lot of guys say, you know what, we, we love this system, but unfortunately, our department's already purchased something, and I'm stuck with it for the next three to five years. 
But we like the drag, the drag system. What do you have? Well, 511 is going to be introducing the Grab Drag 11. It's 11 inches here. This can molly on to any existing play carrier. You don't lose any rows or web platform. Just simply use the slick sticks, run those through the back of the play carrier, and now you have something that attaches and you're good to go. So this is the Grab Drag 11 and the Tac Tech play carrier. Both of these coming out uh, this spring for 511 Tactical. All right, great. Thanks, Dave. What a great presentation. That's a great product that you're really going to be interested in. If you want to learn more, go to 511tactical.com and Funker Tactical, as always, thank you.